Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crypto Trader Network. My name is Chris and we are doing the Sunday portfolio update for you guys. If you are new here on Friday, we do the news, uh, all the latest and greatest in the crypto industry. Uh, and then in between then, uh, we do uh, projects, uh, project reviews for uh, anything that's coming out in the DeFi space. We do have one coming out this week called Rocket Launch, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but let's jump into this. So uh, cryptocurrencies by market cap, we won't dive into this too much because we did it on the news already, but look Looks like we are still in the red guys so not looking good uh you know bitcoin down 10 and a half percent eth 14.6 so not great however uh today is our 100 dollar cost average eth buy-in day so it does work out good for us that we do have a bit of a red day and then hopefully it'll uh, it'll go up from there so uh, let's do that first we're going to pop over here to binance and as you can see, I have $309, so we are going to do a limit buy. Uh, let's do it right at 1076 for 100. And as soon as it hits that 0.09294 ETH, that should fill pretty much right away. Actually, it looks like it already went to 1075 and pretty much already filled. Yep, there it goes. Already filled. So uh, we bought our 100 of ETH. We can go over here to our uh, weekly crypto spreadsheet. Oops, let's see. So that was 0.09294. We're going to enter that into our spreadsheet over here. And that was at 1076. Yep, 1076 exactly. And market price, bring that down. I keep forgetting to pre-fill in this spreadsheet so that we can see what's uh, going on, but I will finish that up. And amount purchased was 100. And today's date is 7322. All right, so there we go. As you can see, we are $16 down. This will, uh, this will update uh, a little bit. Oh, it just did actually. So $15 down uh, with that addition. Um, so, you know, as we say, the, the, uh, the time in the market is better than uh, timing the market uh, at this dollar cost average will work out for us in the long run. Uh, we do have a couple of, of red days in here when we bought at 1231 last weekend. Uh, we were having a little bit of a pump up and we were hoping that that was going to continue to go up. But uh, this week just has been really flat. So uh, it is what it is. But that's uh, neither here nor there. We can dollar cost average in and we will work out in the long run, like I said. So, okay, dogs were going crazy. The UPS guy was here. All right, so let's jump into ETH Miner. Uh, so we did pull out on ETH Miner this week. Like I said, I do have to pull these out on Saturdays. Um, so as you can see, I already did my, uh, my, my collect on this one uh, yesterday. And so we can pull open that spreadsheet right over here. And we collected... Uh, 0 .009, uh, and that worked out to $9.09. .09. So that was, uh, like I said, that was our collection yesterday. If I don't do it uh, uh, on Saturdays, then I will lose it. So, uh, you know, I have to do those uh, beforehand. Uh, so that is ETH, our ETH Auto Miner. We are, uh, you know, doing doing well there. Um, looks like I actually put this on the wrong day, so I will correct that real quick, actually. There we go. So we're at 17.46. Like I said, that one week, uh, we basically had zeros because I didn't get to it in time. So, uh, you yeah, know, but 1746, uh, uh, we put in, what did we put in on this? Um, I think we put in 100. I'll have to double check. I didn't write it down, but I'm pretty sure we put in a hundred. So uh, we're doing good on ROI on this one. It will uh, it will come back, uh, you know, as we compound these and collect them, uh, or actually should say auto compound on these every six days and then collect on the seventh day. Um, they're just doing their job. So eventually we'll be in profit and doing good on that. So we can minimize that one down and go into our BUSD paycheck. Again, same deal. This collection is on Saturday. And when I bring up that one, that one again, same like clockwork, $24.13 every single week. So we did collect yesterday. We are at 134.65 in profit after our 7% fees are already taken out. Uh, so doing really well there. This one we invested 209. So, uh, you know, we'll be in profit uh, in just a few short weeks with that one uh, as well. And then after that, it's all golden. So six days uh, compound automatically, which is great. And then I go in on Saturday and collect. 
that's easy peasy for me because <laughs> as you can see uh we get into the beans and i need to add another month on here we are already uh you know already filled this month up uh it's seven three and uh the past three days i have <laughs> forgot to do my beans it has been crazy hectic with having a new baby uh and that's the thing i mean when you're when you're busy and you don't get to uh, compound every day uh it does really hurt you so uh let's jump in and see where our beans are at so beans we have 0.60 bnb and so we are uh i'm just gonna go ahead and eat like i said we'll eat every sunday um my ledger is actually ready to go so we'll just go ahead and do it done so that's 0 0.060 and we will enter that into our spreadsheet here on 73 0.060 and then right here on, we'll do it right here on the week 11. And again, I will update this spreadsheet and make it uh, make it larger and, and expand these weeks out as we go. Uh, so if you need to uh, re-download it, uh, go ahead and do that. And then you should just be able, be able to copy and paste those columns in. So uh, let's see what our BNB price is for today. See if I have it over here on Coin Market Cap. I do, two eighteen sixty six. So we'll pop back over here and go two eighteen sixty six. So we made thirteen bucks on beans. Uh, not bad. Uh, we initially invested what three three ninety four. Um, you know, one full BNB when, when BNB was almost $400. Uh, so we are at 243. Uh, we're getting there. Uh, unfortunately, you know, beans is, is definitely slowed down, but, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things that's going to take a little bit longer, but we will get to ROI at some point. Uh, toasted AVAX. I know you guys are invested in that one as well. Uh, where are we at? 7.3 right here. Like I said, we'll go ahead and collect on that one. Um, let's see where that one is. I won't bore you guys with that one, but looks like we are when we switch over to Avalanche. Where are we at with AVAX? 0.034. So we'll collect 0.034 on that one today. Uh, and then the last thing that we had to discuss, the elephant in the room, unfortunately, rebase tokens is golden finance. So I kind of alluded to this one in the last video. Um, they got me. They, they got me good on this one. Uh, I did a review with them uh, the other day. Um, I, I spoke to one of their uh, one of their devs uh, in the Discord. Uh, I did speak to a bunch of other people in the Discord. Um, you know, I thought it was a good project. I really it lo really looked good. Uh, they did not pay me anything. They did not give me anything. Um, you know, I, I did the review basically on my own. Uh, you know, fruition, and invested my own money. They didn't give me a, a cent. So. Um, uh, I, I unfortunately fell for there's a couple other you know larger uh, DeFi guys that I watch on YouTube myself and uh, you know kind of fell into that that YouTube trap you know where you look at some of the larger guys and they're investing in it. I waited and waited to make sure it looked good and uh, you know knowing that it was a week long you know presale whitelist you know whatever and uh, had some time to wait and make sure that everything looked good before I invested and they still rug pulled so. <laughs> I, uh, you know, yeah. And, and hindsight is twenty twenty. always, um, you know, we can go back and look and say, Hey, you know, they're, they didn't have LinkedIn. That was a huge red flag. Uh, you know, a lot of people call them out on that. A lot of people called them out for, uh, basically doxing themselves, but never going on video. Um, very generic pictures. Uh, I think somebody even said they did a reverse image search and really nothing came up with those images at all. Um, or they came up with, if they came up with other people, I think that it would, that would have definitely been a huge red flag, but, but, uh, there was really nothing that came up with those images. Um, you know, like I said, no profile, no social medias out there at all. Um, so they were doxxed, but were they though? Obviously not. Uh, so, so, you know, it, it's just one of those things. It's, you know, it's, it's tough to, uh, to see into the future. Um, you know, sometimes we make these plays and we, we kind of hope for the best. These are DeFi right now uh in in the current market that we are in is definitely a gamble so never invest anything that you are uh not willing to lose or not comfortable with losing um you know don't don't bet your rent money on any of these DeFi plays these projects can can come and go on a whim 
uh, right now, um, especially, like I said, in this bear market. It's very tough for these projects to get off the ground, uh, even when they are legit projects, you know, if they don't have people that come in and, and invest uh, the way they needed them to and, and, and build their, their core up. So, um, you know, tough deal. But yeah, like I said, I invested one BNB at the time it was worth $237. Um, this is a BNB that I had kind of had sitting in my wallet. So to me, that BNB was worth more like 350, 400. And actually, uh, for some reason, um, they, they charged me as that BNB was worth $340. Um, so it was, it was, that was one thing that another red flag that I saw when I, after I purchased, I did my calculations on here and it said one BNB was worth 4,000 gold tokens, which I did receive. And I do have sitting in my wallet that are completely worthless. I can't do anything with them now. They're not good on any exchange or anything. Um, but yeah, 4,000 tokens was basically worth, uh, you know, $400, uh, you know, here and then, uh, 340 after their sell tax. So they were basically basing their tokens, uh, you know, at a seven and a half percent token purchase price, but based on a four hundred dollar BNB. So really, the token purchase price was more like like sixteen cents or fourteen cents, I think, like something like that. So, and I saw it. I, you know, it should have been a huge red flag, and and I I kick myself for these things. Like I said, from now on, I am going to be much more critical uh, on on investing in these projects. And a lot of times I will do a review and it does not necessarily mean that I am jumping into that project. Uh, it is not financial advice. So keep that in mind. Um, you know, a lot of times it's something that I might be interested in, but I may not invest in, uh, you know, right away, or I may have already invested in it, but it does not necessarily mean that it is going to take off. So, uh, but I will always 100% be transparent with you guys. I did see a couple other, uh, of the bigger guys deleted their videos. And I thought that that was a little shady knowing that they did get paid by this particular project to do those videos. Um, I've had a couple of videos that I did get paid for, um, that also rug pulled and, you know, and, and I left them up, um, you know, and, and I was fully transparent that I was paid for, uh, in those videos. So in my opinion, uh, you know, honestly is always the best policy. I follow the golden rule. I wish we could have the more golden rule being followed in crypto because it's really hurting our industry right now with all these scammers. Um, uh, but for right now, it's always just CYA cover your butt. Um, you know, so don't, like I said, don't invest more than, than what you're willing to lose. We could have one end up be like sphere where we bought it one cent and we made a whole bunch of money. And then the rest of these, uh, you know, basically just did a whole lot of nothing. So, um, you know, it, in the long run, you know, maybe it, it evens out if you, if you have one that, that, you know, that, that goes to the moon, uh, then great. But you know, the rest of these are, are pretty much, uh, in the, in the grave. So, um, like I said, it's, it's, uh, it's a gamble. It always is. So anyway, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Remember, we always do the monthly giveaway. We are doing $100, uh, USD airdropped your choice, USDT, BUSD, whatever you want to save on fees. We do that every month. All you have to do is subscribe and uh, appreciate if you like this video as well. That definitely helps us out. Uh, once we get to 2000 subscribers, we will bump that to $200, uh, every month. So, uh, and then so on and so forth, 3000 subscribers subscribers 300 so right now we're pushing to 2000 if you guys can help me out with that uh you know subscribe to this channel i really appreciate that we are here for you guys so anyway you guys have a wonderful fourth of july i'm gonna go grill some burgers all right guys have a great one